And I rolled into a wall. Oh, That's okay. this thing. I was working on this last time I was there. <laughs> De editing. What? Yeah. Oh. That was a pretty good shot, actually. That was pretty good. <laughs> Thank God. I'm actually doing something correctly. Twisted death room. Well, prepare to be. disappointed. Something like that, yeah. No. I don't want to be disappointed. <laughs> Too bad. Oh. No. Prepare to... <laughs> Remember when I said you were being stubborn? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> you, what did you do? I just jumped down onto the floor because I thought there'd be a ladder back out, but it wasn't. I don't think this is what we're... That's no. probably not what he's talking about. No. I don't think so. It just he... makes me upset. When he talks like that, it's serious business. Ooh. Oh god. <laughs> what? Oh no! Oh. I remember this. Oh. Is it this? No. Oh god, thank god. I'm terrible. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yep. There you go. What? Wait. Yeah, that was uh, the place where he kind of hooked shot up to that uh, treasure chest. Yeah, you could have played. I could have played the scarecrow song there, and I got him back up and stuff. But you tried that and didn't show up. Hmm. What are you doing? Shooting spiders. Uh, yeah. Trying to plan ahead a little bit. You know, trying to do this well. Trying. I'll get one shot with uh, each time. Okay. Go, 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 go. <laughs> you missed one. That's okay. I don't need to kill all of them. I don't have. I'm not going for some, like, kill all enemies nonsense. Since they respawn. No point. <laughs> for arrows. You almost like... killed yourself for arrows. Oh, yes. Oh. He must open all the chests. It's, a, it's important. This is a cool way. I, I always thought this was a very different way to take it. Like, the first two were the same, and this is a puzzle. It's interesting. Yeah, so you need to match up the faces to make ghosts. And that black block is just nothing, so you need more of a blue block, but hey. <laughs> it's a dark block that has nothing to do with this. It's just meant to get in the way to make the puzzle a little bit more difficult. Difficult, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing fail Brooklyn again. So. <laughs> Good. But why not? I'll tell you why, oh. kid. All the ladies love it. I'm not doing Let's Plays for ladies. Why Let's try not, not to get back onto this, please. I, I do not want it to go back. <laughs> but we have to go back. No, oh, oh, damn. Shit. Fuck you. Let <laughs> me check the name of this one. Yeah, I do. Amy. 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 So, Meg is Meg the last, is the last, last one. one. I was right. I got that one pretty quick, too. Uh... I like how the first one gave the most trouble. You were getting used to the mechanic. Oh, yeah. Used to those I controls. I gave you some leniency. <laughs> used to those controls. I never played this game. I don't know what I'm doing. This is completely blind. Do you believe me? Do you believe me? If I said no, will you leave me alone? No. <laughs> or if I said hell no. Man. Hell no! Oh, shit. <laughs> Get out of here. No. You're not welcome here. I'm always welcome there. I'm trying to live. Nah, I don't think so. Alright, the little gimmick to this fight with Meg is that she'll always move first. No one's hard to see. Well, I kind of remembered because she, in the cutscene, she also moves first, so if you can pay attention to your orientation, then helps. She's really bad at this double team game. You mean quadruple team? She seems to always tier left. 
Yeah, I don't know But why. that could just be a weird pattern, like, left down, left down, down left down, left down. I think that time she was just in front of me. She dead yet? No. Nah. Uh, she has one more arrow. In her. I think it takes some. Five. Ah, come on, there we go. Burn and die, crazy bitch. Not very nice. Well, she wasn't very nice either. Nah, she wasn't. But that's besides the point. You could have skipped this whole dungeon. If they had not been bitches. Well, not like it matters, but thanks to glitchers that I follow, I have seen people slide right into that elevator. Not that it matters, considering I don't have the bow or the key. Yeah, what good is that? Well, it activates the elevator forever, so... Still need the bow. True. I don't know what good it is, I guess people just want to see what they can do. You literally can't beat the game without a bow. I know. Well, that's Spoilers. not entirely true. If you, uh, what? What are you gonna tell me? If you, uh, trick the game to putting light arrows on the B button, then you don't need the bow anyway. So what is it, just fire out of his hands? No, it, it acts like you have a bow. I'm just gonna have to pick it up. What kind of... <laughs> just play the damn game, for the love of God! Never have to glitch through the entire thing. I just... I want to beat the game without getting any of the spiritual stones. I want to glitch through the door of time, get the Master Sword, not beat any of the dungeons, and then just get into Ganon's tower, as a glitch kid. through the barrier. No, not as a kid. Yeah. yeah. Glitch through the barrier. Glitch into the castle. And then beat kid. Ganondorf. Granted, you have to do a lot of stuff with the, like, the... Make the B button think that, oh, there's light arrows here for some reason. How the hell do you... Uh, you know what? We'll talk about it later. <laughs> when it happens. I don't know how to explain it. What do you mean when it happens? I'm doing that. No, when you get light arrows, you can bring it up again. Though. I might... I would have to research how to do that, because I don't remember. It's complicated and weird and complicated. I know, but a series of lies. You notice that cutscene had red carpet, so you want to match up the openings with the red carpet. Yeah. I used, I used to know the exact pattern to do this without, like, even moving, like, looking at the carpet. Or knowing what I was doing, I just knew that, like, this is the order. I did it! I used to be able to do that. Not anymore. Alright. I was doing it when I, uh... <laughs> nope. Wrong one. Hey! I know! <laughs> I, was, I was doing it when I basically beat Ocarina of Time three times in a row pretty fast. Like, I got on... Um, what was it? Ocarina of Time for the GameCube, along with Master Quest, then I got, like, the Collector's Edition that had Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time on it. <laughs> they beat it then. And then, this is pretty much the same in Master Quest 2, I think. Might be slightly more complicated, I don't remember. This room was pretty much the same. Yeah. It is what I thought. Still, Master Quest Jabu Jab <laughs> The Master Quest Jabu Jabu's belly section really confused the crap out of me. Mostly because cows are switches and you have to shoot them with a slingshot, and I didn't know that. I thought that you were just cows in the walls for some reason. Like, oh, that's weird. I'm not gonna shoot him with a slingshot, though. Who thinks of that? Here's a question Who thinks of Phantom Ganon? Ganondorf? I was thinking more designer-wise, but... You know. Oh, designer-wise? I don't know. I always wonder about when they, where they get all the ideas for the bosses. I don't know. Phantom battles have been in Zelda, the Zelda series for a while, though. Like, fighting Phantom Link in Zelda 2. And, like... Well, Dark Link is just persistent. Yeah. He's kind of a phantom. Yeah, I don't know what makes him that. Uh... Bad vibes. <laughs> Anyway, if you stand in a corner that has one of the Triforce symbols, you won't get shot. Did you figure that out? I'm pretty sure I read it somewhere. <laughs> That's cool. I didn't know that. It is helpful. Like, if you don't want to get your 
himself shocked by Phantom Ganon. You can totally not get yourself shocked by Phantom Ganon just by shooting the crap out of him. That too. <coughs> I I have done it where he never had a chance to shock before, but I was I was always looking at the wrong one in this. You know, I actually remember my first time I fought him. I ran into Varys. You know what happened the first time I fought him? I couldn't do a vertical slash. And if you try to do a horizontal slash, you won't hit him. So. I also don't do very well in this fight, if I recall. <laughs> That's what I was saying before. It's about, I don't know why, like, the ball doesn't reflect at him directly most of the time. I've actually never been able to figure that out. Like, it's it, your bigger on sword. No. You can if reflect you use the master jar. sword, it wouldn't do that. Why would... Why does a bigger on sword make it do that? Because it's because it hits it right. sooner and it shoots off in a different direction. Well, it, since it hits it sooner, it doesn't reflect in the same pattern it would with a master sword. Huh? That's weird. It doesn't do that with uh, Ganondorf. Oh, he got up really fast. There we go again. Uh. And of course, I'm screwing up the volleys. Pay attention to this gameplay model. This is going to become important later. <laughs> Much later in the game. And in later 3D versions of the series. Sorry, pay attention to what? This gameplay uh, of the, the ball bouncing. Oh, the ball bouncing. Mm -hmm. Call it an energy orb, but it's ball. I can call it magic. You can. Feel so fine. I screwed up this bad. I guess it was the fact that I was trying to do live commentary at the time just kind of <laughs> messing me up a little bit. I don't I'm know. Not... I think I was still yelling at you in live commentary to use the Master Sword. You're like, no, I want to use this. No, no, the bigger on sword. Damn him, he's getting up abnormally fast. I don't understand. He sees that big sword and he's just like, no. <laughs> I'm going to ignore that and just get up right now. Screw your stuns. I can't believe I'm screwed. <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> this is bullshit and a half. See, that's what I was trying to do. If you use quick spins, you can stun lock him and he won't be able to get back up, but I'm messing that up a little bit. By a little bit, I mean a lot! Jesus. Yeah. We're counting this as a cutscene? No. Oh. Okay then, I guess it's not important. It is respectable, though. It's very eerie what he said. Yeah. Let me point out that it's very eerie. Gap between dimensions. What if Link fell in that portal? Oh no! <laughs> yeah, that would have been a better boss. Hey, you're gonna fight a boss. <laughs> Link fights the gap between dimensions. I don't think he can fight such a thing. I think Link can fight concepts. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop you right there. And Only say between no. you and victory is the ground. Uh oh. Don't forget about da -da -da -da, the grass! What? It's okay. The grass is a very deadly enemy. <laughs>